Hello, paleontologists. Today, before we go to the dig site, we need to make an earthy textured background. Texture is one of those elements of art and it's gonna be really important in our work today. Come on. So texture is the way something feels. And if we use these textured items like sponges and bubble wrap, then our artwork can also have texture. Besides just adding texture, we are going to be focusing on using neutral colors. Neutral colors are not like those bright rainbow colors that we usually use. Neutrals are colors like black and white and brown and gray and tan. So we're gonna be using a lot of neutrals to make a very earthy looking background. All right, let's get started. I think I'll start with this sponge here and I'm going to dip it in some mud. Next, I'll use some of this bubble wrap. Now, if I'm gonna use the bubble wrap, I need to paint on the bubbles first. dinosaur fossil. So will you choose a Triceratops, a Pteranodon, or the mighty T-Rex, a Tyrannosaurus Rex? All of these dinosaurs were from the Cretaceous period. I think I'm going to choose the Triceratops. As soon as you choose your dinosaur and your paper, go ahead and start tracing. After you've got it traced, cut it out. Unfortunately, Dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago, and all that remains are their fossils. So that's what we're gonna be painting today. You will receive some white paint and a round brush. Now, in order to make these intricate details of the skeleton, you're gonna want to paint very lightly. Don't push down hard with your paintbrush, Otherwise, you'll get really thick lines and we won't see all of these details. I like to start with a long line that goes all the way from the spine to the tail. The head is mostly solid, except leave a hole for the eye. Next, I start on all these rib bones. with holes for the eyes, a long spine, and the rib and tail bones, and then two separate bones for the legs. Here's a little peek at how I worked on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I started with the holes that I saw in the face and then painted the rest of it solid. Same as the Triceratops. Next, I worked on that spine, and then all the rib bones, the tail bones, the legs and the arms. Now 
The last step comes when everything is dry. Flip over your fossil. Add plenty of glue to the outside. I like to go around the edges to make sure that it doesn't curl up. Glue it onto your textured background and give it a nice massage. Once you've glued, give it the shake test to make sure it's stuck and it'll stay forever. Oh, my God.